All right, guys, we're back with some more One Piece. We got episode eight up and ready to go. Last episode, we were dealing with Buggy still. That's kind of been the past few episodes, actually. Uh, we've just been dealing with him and his henchmen. Uh, and I think this episode, we're getting a little bit of backstory as to his past with Shanks. Because he was saying that he will never, ever forgive Shanks for what he did, whatever that was. So uh, there's a little bit of, you know, drama between those two. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're learning what that is this episode. So whether we learn about it and then see Captain Buggy get his ass kicked, or if that's like next episode, we go back to the present, I guess we'll see. But I just, I just want to see Captain Buggy get wrecked. That's all I'm here for right now. <laughs> this man, you know, he's just sending henchmen after henchmen, and it's like, boy. And then he has the nerve to cut up the hat. And it's like, bruh. What? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's what we're getting into, I guess. So... Yeah, let's just hop right into things. <laughs> Crap out of you. So this man had that nose way back then, too? <laughs> Is that actually real? Is that a real nose? The fuck? I'm not really getting, like, a hatred. Too naive. Okay, maybe. But I'm getting more of like a rivalry feel here. Not really a enemies. I'm sure something will happen, but still, they kind of seem like friends. They're at least on the same crew. Ooh. Deep beneath the sea. Oh, that's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Oh, keeping it for himself? Selfish, selfish buggy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Views my follower. Mm-hmm, yeah. Buggy's set on, like, having followers. Uh, Shanks just wants, like, friends, buddies to go around with. Oh! Oceans. You won't be able to swim. Okay, is that... Is that a trait of every single devil fruit, then? You just... You can't swim if you eat it. I guess it has to have some kind of con, right? Because, like, it can't just give you the power and bam, you're OP. I guess that does suck for pirates. You can't swim for shit. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate, but... I guess, yeah. You have to make a sacrifice in order to get the power, you know? I thought with Luffy it was just, like, since he's rubber, maybe, you know, the water, like, I don't know, just expands him or something. But it must be for all devil fruits. Because I think they're talking about the, like, body one, right? That Buggy eats, the split body. He probably steals that shit, eats it. Well, now... <laughs> yeah. Man's immediately going for it. Oh. Hold on. Did... Sell the fruit for a hundred million belly. So, like, a hundred million dollars, I'll say at least. I'm sure that's close, but... This man... Like... I'm kind of stunned that the pirates just let him do it. If it's worth a hundred mil. Oh, it was a fake? Oh. Okay. Ah. Farm my own pirate crew. Man's got aspirations. Bro, really? <laughs> Not suspicious. Oh, 
Okay, you deserve that shit, man. <laughs> Who the fuck hides a whole ass fruit in their mouth? Like, and it's a pineapple type shit. Oh. Bro, you can't swim now. Damn. Might wanna go get this man, Shanks. Or maybe not. Man causes some trouble in the future. Wait, is that it? <laughs> because he caused him to eat the fruit. Is that why he's mad? And he lost the map? Bro. You kind of played yourself with that one, man. <laughs> How did this man get so scared, so startled, that his immediate instinct was to shove the fruit... Or shove the fruit down his throat? And then he got scared enough again that he swallowed it whole. I, I know it's anime, okay? I know it's freaking animation, but... Come on, buggy. Come on. <laughs> exactly! You'd be dead if not for that man. I don't know. That's a shame. <laughs> hey, that's that's also kind of what you get, Nami. Cut your, just just trying to steal this man's treasure like immediately. Oh oh, he got kicked in the crotch, didn't he? That is that is definitely what that face means. <laughs> oh, splitting body can't help with that shit, huh? What did I say? What did I say? This power is not good, man. I'm sorry if any of you really like it, but I just cannot respect this power. Okay. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. And ladies, we don't exclude here. I mean, are we even sure, like, Buggy is that much of a threat at this point? I mean, he pretty well just got defeated right there. <laughs> Getting kicked that hard in the nuts? I'd be down for, like, three days. <laughs> it steals from fights. Hey, I mean, it's the same way that he got it, probably. Yeah, man. Dibs, bro. Because you still- Bro? Bro! You know you're a pirate, right? Okay. I mean, it's kind of, uh, weird how, like, Nami, she's so set on not calling herself a pirate, but she's a pirate, right? She does, like, literally everything that a pirate does. <laughs> Steals treasure, rides the high seas, uh, doesn't have a crew, I guess. She's not part of a crew, but... Uh, who says there can't be, like, solo pirates? I don't think there's a rule against it. It's just... Yeah, she's she's basically doing it all. Not, like, killing people, but... So far, we haven't actually seen a whole lot of pirates actually, like, killing people. Every death we've seen has been by the hands of, like, something else. Spe like, the guy from, you know, the Shanks backstory, man just got eaten by, like, a freaking serpent. Is this, yeah... Eventually, she's going to have to notice, like, she ain't really... Just not calling herself a pirate doesn't really mean she's not a pirate, you know? Festival. <laughs> what, the, the, the feet? The feet can't float, too? The fuck? Oh, he, he man's going to tickle him. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Man's getting hit from both sides here. Okay, okay. <laughs> How many hands does this man have? Okay. 
okay, okay. I mean, like, I'm just saying, he was hold, he was using his hands to hold the treasure bag, and then all of a sudden both his hands have the knives, yet she's still holding it as if someone's holding it. Does this man have, like, four hands? Got two extras hiding somewhere down there? Oh, okay. There it goes. Damn. Absolutely drop kicked that son bitch, huh? Oh, knocked out cold? Really? Is that it? Okay, okay. I was gonna say, little old kick ain't gonna take out this man, right? <laughs> you I mean Okay, Nami <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit, he's winding up. Let's go. I'm dead? Yeah, probably. Sorry, man. Ooh! Oh, wow. Gonna be a twinkle? Oh, a cloud? Oh, nice. Just sent that man to space. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I like the teamwork there. I thought Nami was just maybe, like, running away. But, nah. She had a plan. Ah, uh, poor hat. I'll just be able to fix it all right up. Hope you patch it up. Ah, she's warming up to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's free treasure now. Who's going to stop him? Won't become a pirate. Uh, I mean, there's no contract you got to sign. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. Let this man sleep. Man took a beating. <laughs> oh, true. Oh, fuck. Didn't even notice the guy back there. Oh, they're not going to get the wrong idea, are they? Oh, oh, Luffy just, he doesn't really, no, he doesn't think. <laughs> hey, hey, this, this man could lay you all flat right now. <laughs> oh. Are they just... Are they gonna get chased out now? Yeah, just gotta leave, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nami still gotta carry the treasure on her own. Uh, these villagers, man. I respect them. They're going after them. It's a good town. Yeah, exactly. They're protecting just the mayor. Doing all this. If it was buggy, they'd all be getting, like, wrecked right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. You fend him off for a bit, buddy. Hell yeah, shoo shoo. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Sushu ain't having it. Sushu says, stay away from my boy. Hey. Thank you, Sushu. <laughs> oh, don't don't tell me y'all are taking that. Hell no. <laughs> oh. Oh fuck, these guys are still here. Shit. Oh, kind of screwed herself here. Oh. 
Luffy's like... Luffy doesn't even have any thoughts going on. Doesn't have a single thought behind those eyes. Making fun of us. What you gonna do, Mayor? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Man's the only one who knows. Okay. <laughs> Man's gotta have a few words with Luffy right now. Like, why the fuck you bashing my head against the wall, buddy? Come on, buddy. Simple thank you, right? Yeah, but Luffy saved him. Turn. Okay. So man was like, he was pretty, he was ready to die there just fighting for his town, but no, nah, man didn't need to. Nothing else to say. Okay. Oh, left him some treasure? Yeah, rebuild, baby. <laughs> I figured Nami wouldn't appreciate that. Oh, your treasure. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Damn, the only one who can hurt Luffy. <laughs> All right. For better or for worse. Added a navigator, right, yeah. We are slowly building up the crew here. The fuck? Okay, okay. Random shadow figure, I like it, I dig it. <laughs> a little bit of mystery. All right, that was a good episode. I'm glad that we are done with Buggy for now. I'm sure he'll be back eventually. <laughs> A uh, man got launched into, like, outer space, so might be a little bit, but I'm sure he'll show up at some point. He'll have to go back, get those body parts <laughs> that he left behind. But, yeah, I'm sure he's going to hold a bit of a grudge against Luffy and Nami and the gang. So, yeah, I got that to look forward to. And maybe we'll see the mayor again. Maybe we'll return to that town at some point in the future. Because he said he owes him a favor. So I'm sure they'll take him up on that. But yeah, like I said, I appreciated the teamwork going on there. Because I'm not sure if Luffy would have been able to defeat Buggy just by himself. Maybe. He didn't seem like he was going like all in on the fight quite yet. But if Nami hadn't helped him out. And have, if Zoro hadn't been there to like take out the other guy, the acrobat. It just... Like, if, if those two hadn't been there, it would have been a lot more difficult. And, like, I don't know if he would have pulled it off. We haven't seen the full extent of his power, but it would have been tough, that's for sure. Against, like, another Devil Fruit and some other strong dudes. Would have worked up a sweat, I'm sure, at least. But, since he's building up the crew, he's got uh, some friends to help him out now. He's, he's like Shanks, you know? He's building up a crew of friends. Notice how, during the fight... Other than the Acrobat and uh, the Beast Tamer, none of his crew helped him. Buggies. None of his crew, like, <laughs> they were all pretending to be, like, passed out on the ground. But with Luffy, he, like, just met Nami, and she was still helping him out. Because she knew that, like, he was on the good side. He, he was, you know, just fighting to protect, well, like, his friend Zoro and her and the town. He was also probably keeping that in mind, right? Didn't want any more unnecessary destruction. Luffy, he just, you know, brings the best out of people, I think. He just, like, even with Nami, probably, you know, normally she would have just dipped out, stolen the treasure, not thought anything of it. She almost did do that, still. But, you know, Luffy kind of proved to her that he was different. So, now they're together, and it's like a mutually beneficial thing. So... 
she's not on her own anymore. That's good because if she kept doing it on her own, she eventually would have ran into some trouble. Something would have happened. She would have gotten caught. If Luffy wasn't there now, like if Luffy didn't show up at that specific moment when she was getting chased, she could be dead. <laughs> she could be screwed. Might have been able to work her way out of it. But what I'm trying to say is like Luffy, his crew, they're like, they're important to him and he's going to fight for him and they're going to fight for him because they got that respect. Buggy didn't have that respect. And that's the kind of man that Luffy is. Anyway, though, I'm not really sure what we're going to be getting into next episode. If we're just going to have a little bit of a side story on their way to Grand Line. I'm sure that's where they're heading now. They still only have like those two small boats. I'm not sure why they didn't just steal like Captain Buggy's boat. I, it, it takes a lot of people to run a boat like that. So maybe that's why they wouldn't be able to like handle it with just the three of them. But still, I'm kind of bummed that they didn't hijack that shit. That would have been funny. But yeah, I think they're on their way to the Grand Line now. So whether we even like get there in the next few episodes or if we have some uh, pit stops along the way, doesn't matter. I'm excited to see what we get into. Maybe we'll run into some other pirate crews, get into some brawls, uh, make some new friends, some new crewmates. Uh, whatever it is, should be good, I think. So yeah, I will be back with that eventually um i do just want to let you guys know that because of work i've been getting like a lot of shifts recently so upload schedule might be a little different i'm not sure yet i have some videos recorded already so i'll try to keep them on time but still it might be a bit longer of a wait we'll see uh, i'll let you guys know like on twitter if there's any big changes going on. So you can like follow me on there if you want to stay updated. But yeah, just a warning for you. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on this series and some other series I'm doing. There's Haikyuu, there's uh, To Your Eternity. I got like Banana Fish, Great Pretender already done. You can go check them out, see what you like. And yeah, drop a comment down below, anything you want to say, uh, what you thought of the video, of this episode in particular. Uh, yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, no spoilers, though. And that's it. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.